Howdy folks, my name is Jim Rufus, and in today's Red Dead Online video, we're going to go through the new update that Rockstar dropped today. I'm going to showcase the new clothes, but also talk a little bit about the state that Red Dead Online is in at the moment. So, let's jump straight into it. Rockstar dropped a big update to GTA Online today, the Los Santos Summer Special Update, they released 15 new cars, new business battles, co-op missions and much more. But Rockstar also updated Red Dead Online today. We got some new clothes and at the moment they haven't updated the news wire with anything. So I'm not sure if Rockstar added anything else to the game today, but uh, I'm going to showcase the new clothes for you guys. So let's check the Wheeler and Rawson catalog and here we have a new hat. This is the Hinksman hat, and uh, this one costs gold. Do you have some? <laughs> well, I'm running out of gold because everything costs gold right now. And this hat is rather expensive. It's six gold bars, but uh, I think it's a beautiful hat, so it might be worth it. And we also have the Filera hat. I don't like this one that much. I think it would have looked better without that skull. And this hat sits at six gold bars. And we also have a new jacket in the game. It's called the Daventry Jacket and it's $192. And I'm not sure if this is a Mexican coat. I think so, but I'm not exactly sure here. But I think it looks good though. Uh, let's go through all the color variants here before I'll show you the other jacket that they added today. And uh, this is the Black Grave coat and it costs $165. And this one almost looks like a robe or something. I definitely prefer the Daventry jacket to this one, but uh, I'll probably buy a couple of black grave coats as well. And uh, they also added a new type of shirt to the game, a shirt with a sash. So now we can finally dress like the cowboys from the movie Tombstone. And they all wore red sashes just like this. And there are a few black shirts here and a couple of white shirts with different colors of the sash here. And we have one red shirt as well here. And these shirts cost three gold bars but uh, I think they are definitely worth buying. I'm going to try to buy these in all colors. If I can afford it, we'll see. And we also have a new pair of pants in the game, the penstock pants. And these cost three gold bars each. And uh, everything costs gold these days, and I can hardly even afford buying stuff anymore. So I think that Rockstar should really increase the gold bar payouts in this game. Because if someone like me, who plays the game all the time, can hardly afford to buy stuff, I can only imagine how it is for guys that only plays this game like once or twice a week. So I really hope that they think of that and uh, increase the gold bar payouts. And I also want to address the state that Red Dead Online is in at the moment. The game is completely bugged out and I'm on the PS4 and it seems like we who play on the PS4 got the short stick here. Because my game keeps crashing every 10th minute and as you guys can see I can't call for my horse and I can't even pull up the menu here to check my daily challenges. And I'm unable to enter my moonshine shack and I can't even get my camp to spawn. Plus I've tried to do a couple of daily challenges today and I only managed to do one. But I guess a lot of players will lose their daily streaks and that's just not okay. Rockstar really needs to fix this game now. I mean the game has been out for two years but this game is still broken. Maybe more so than ever before. And I've tried to start a mission here because it was a daily challenge to start a mission through the boy here, but uh, it completely refused to start, so nothing works at the moment. But Rockstar are aware of the problems, and they are working on it as we speak. So hopefully the game will be playable again very very soon. And uh, you can always jump into GTA Online instead, and check out the new Los Santos Summer Special Update. It's out right now and it seems to be working far better than what Red Dead Online is at the moment. And it seems like we're not getting a Newswire update today to Red Dead Online. But I've heard that they added two legendary coyotes to the game, 
One is called the Red Street Coyote, and you can find it west of McFarland's Ranch in the area of Hennigan's Stead. And they also added another legendary coyote, it's called the Midnight Paw Coyote, and you can find it southeast of Strawberry. And if you're looking for legendary animals, I've compiled a map over all their spawn locations, and you can find the map in my Discord if you check the links below. And I've also planned to do another video about the legendary animals, so make sure that you're subscribed and click on that notification bell so you won't miss that video. And feel free to hit that like button as well, it uh, really helps the channel out so. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys further down the trail, bye bye.